Kristen Simmer, and today we are doing another speed build. I built this a couple of weeks ago, and since then, The Sims has announced the newest kit. It will be out on the 18th, I think? That date sounds correct to me. It's the 14th now while I'm doing this voiceover, but like I said, I built this a couple of weeks ago, so I didn't know, even though there was a leak, Xbox, I guess, leaked it on accident, so... That was cute of them. We all knew a few days, I think, before EA was planning to tell us. It is a, like, Moroccan-style courtyard. Honestly, I wish I could remember what it was called, but I, but I don't. It's cute, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's cute. But there's been a lot of criticism, and I, you know, I respect that. A lot of people feel like this is specific to a specific culture, and to have to pay $5 for that culture is kind of, you know, that's that's not really the vibe. I mean, it, it's not not the vibe. Like, there's not, like, it's not precedence for it. It's not like this is the first time something like this has happened in the world of The Sims or EA in general. But I, I respect that criticism. I mean, I don't know a lot about Moroccan culture, but I think, you know, in this specific scenario it's best to listen to people who are from those cultures and you know respect their feelings on that so maybe if you disagree maybe just be quiet because maybe you just don't know as well as they know you know I don't know we'll see how it goes I've been lightly following the discourse of it all on Twitter you can catch me on Twitter Hawk and Simmer I don't tweet that much because I am too busy tweeting too much for my actual t Twitter account t t t t t t Twitter account but anyway this is a Mediterranean style build I suppose I am building it in Oasis Springs I don't do this style of build very often and it's just because I live in the Midwest there aren't very many Mediterranean style homes here and if they are they're very like McMansion-y I guess and very like inauthentic not that this house is incredibly authentic I don't know I'm I'm just some white girl from the midwest just trying to do different styles you know what I mean I don't know critique the heck out of me I don't care I I will do better if it if it is hot garbage because it probably is but I don't know I think I saw like the front of this house on Pinterest or something a while back I drew Okay, it's fine. I drew a floor plan for it ooh, months ago and I should have like an archive of like loose leaf paper with the floor plans and things and they uh, sometimes I'll be like, yeah, this is great. And then I won't build it for like three months because I don't know, I just, I guess I just hate everything I could potentially even come up with. So then I just like scrap the idea before I can do it. But anyway, pulled this from the archives made it a cute little family home so it's three bedrooms could be four there's an office upstairs that could be like a really cute little nursery and then I believe it's two and a half bathrooms so the main floor is all living area there's a huge laundry room and a little half bath the kitchen is big but kind of awkwardly laid out but the floor plan that I had drawn up had this little sunroom on the back of it and I wanted to keep that in but we did a little landscaping I am not used to landscaping like this obviously I go for the more like cottage core type of vibe and this isn't that the front of the house though kind of has a cottage core it's like a like a desert cottage core kind of vibe in the front I think I don't know what I'm doing over here okay I'm just I'm out here giving it my best shot. Um, quick update while we're still doing the backyard. I think it took me quite a while to do the exterior. And a couple of videos ago, I think in your time, it will have been like two or three videos ago. I had mentioned that a couple of my friends were going through a really hard time right now. And that is still true. They are still going through a difficult time and dealing with a lot currently. But it does look to be like we have every reason to be very hopeful that things will eventually be okay. So, you know, if you said nice things or, you know, had good vibes to send, thought good thoughts for us and, and my friends and their loved ones, I just want to say thank you. You know, just like hearing that people care at all is 
is very encouraging and it just makes you feel not so isolated, especially in the world that we live in right now. I know that, you know, things are opening back up, but it can feel very, very isolating. And I know this is just the internet. And I know that the couple of people who have said nice things, like we don't know each other, we don't even know each other's first names, but it means a lot that you just had something nice to say. So if you're that person, thank you so much. And if you aren't that person, you know, not that you have to say anything nice to me, but just like always lead with kindness, I guess is the best way to do things because you really don't know maybe what someone is is going through all of the time so I don't know this is your sign from the universe to like pass it on and say something nice to someone else today and it doesn't have to be because they're going through anything traumatic it can just be because so that's your that's your sign from the universe I guess I am the universe obviously anyway we're moving on to the interior I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get sappy on main okay um but we're moving on to the interior I loved this stone in this specific swatch I think this is from jungle adventure I really like these stones I think they look like worn but not dated does that make sense like they've had a lot of love but kind of timeless and they're a more neutral orange than a lot of the like base game tile options we have this isn't pack specific I probably could have done that but I didn't think about it so it's not pack specific but I did use a lot of jungle adventure I think I wanted this to feel like an old home that had maybe been revitalized in the same original fashion so it's got like updated furniture and decor but I wanted to leave the bones of it feeling more original I guess to this area I hope that that comes across it probably doesn't but I, but I tried so you know that's what counts I wanted to use warm colors I have been really trying hard to use more warm colors in my life I've always been a cold color person I like blues and greens I like very very cool tone reds you know so I've been trying to use more warm colors I know that like blue and green are soothing calming colors but they're they're cold too like the I mean literally like they're cold colors too so I feel like I've been really attempting to use more warm colors in my life more yellows, more very specific oranges. I've said this before, orange is like my least favorite color, but I've really tried recently to embrace it and and make it something I could love. But I don't know, this build kind of suited warm colors well, I think. I'm just kind of cluttering up this little hallway here. I hate that the stairs, when they're against a wall, like the walls don't match up for like it doesn't look like a continuous wall from the staircase like the wall under the staircase to the regular wall that drives me crazy could someone please explain please america explain this doesn't make any sense i'm very upset about it is anyone else or is it is it just me but we're moving on to the laundry room right now i know that not everyone has this pack and i use it in almost every build that i have but I have a feeling like this is just an assumption that I think lots of people have this pack. This was the first community voted pack and a lot of people I think wanted it. I know there's a whole subsection of people who like don't want this kind of stuff. So I, I am sorry to you, Miss Kiki Palmer. I am sorry to this man, but I, I do end up putting laundry in almost all of my builds. Yeah? Whoa! What do you want? Okay. Maybe one day I'll do a whole build where my pets do my voiceover. And it's just the various noises that happen in a given 30 minutes that I need to do this. He's now just staring at the window. This is one of their favorite things is to stare out the window. We have two ferns on our front porch. And all, inevitably, every single year birds build a couple of nests in our ferns and we just kind of let it happen because eh, it's not really hurting anything for us and our cats really like to watch them sit in the fly in and out of the ferns and they sit in the windowsill it's pretty cute I'm not gonna lie so he's just got his head peeked around the curtain and <laughs> he looks like a goob 
But anyway, we've moved on to the kitchen in here. I think I was talking about the laundry room, but we've moved on, honey. That is in the past. We've moved on to this kitchen. I decided to add a little table in the middle of it and add a little fruit bowl in the bowl from the Island Living expansion pack. I just wanted there to look like, I don't know, like a meal was being prepared on this little side table, I guess. But I use the Country Kitchen kit again. I've been using that a lot lately. I don't know if it's just because something about it seems very summertime to me. And I've built a couple of farms. I think there was a farm last week and there will be a farm after this video, which is funny. It wasn't intentional, but it's just kind of how it worked out. But I've been using that little, that little kitchen kit a lot. So I still stand by that I think they're a little overpriced, but I'm also... I'm also glad that I have it, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I think that... Having a kitchen is a little hard to judge because those items are like more than one item. Does that make sense? Like the cabinet in the, the cabinets in the, the like, you know, catalog is one item, but technically there's like six, seven, eight different of that one item. Do you know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know. We've gotten some sneak peeks. It looks like we may have gotten an item list today from the new build by kit. And it doesn't seem to really be that much more in depth, though. So I think that we were all kind of hoping that a kitchen was kind of hard to judge by and that the next build by kit would have more items in it. But it, it just really doesn't really seem like that's the case, but I don't know. I honestly, I just took a quick glance at it this morning before I went and got coffee. So I don't know. I don't know, but I have used it a lot. So it, it might change my opinion a little bit, but I, I don't know. We're, we're still, we're still holding out, but we've moved on to the bedrooms upstairs. This is the master. I wanted it to, I've been really into neutral bedrooms lately. Like, really into neutral bedrooms I know that's boring but this one at least it's like black and cream and I don't know I thought it was pretty cute I hated that the only windows were on the like nook but they were large windows so I felt like it was it was all right I guess but I thought this room was super cozy and like classy I guess and look at me I left in a bathroom I never do that unless the bathroom is going to be kind of special I never leave in the bathrooms um but when I have the room to do a bathroom this size, these are my favorite kinds of like ensuite bathrooms to do when they're that large. I leave it in occasionally, but I did not do the hall bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, you win some, you lose some. I've never used this swatch of this rug before. This rug is honestly a hidden gem. I believe it's from Get Famous and I think it's because the default swatch is like leopard or it's zebra print, excuse me. It has good swatches, okay? The ones with the like trim around the edge and then solid in the middle, I've been using those a ton lately. And then there's one that's like more green. I think it's this same pattern, but it's green. That one is great for like patios and outdoor areas. And this one I felt was super fun for this like teens room, a little blue and orange moment. I, like I said, I don't love orange, but I felt like it really worked in that room. And when you offset it with blue, I think it makes a lot of sense. And then this is the kids room. I of course use bunk beds again. I use, have used these swatches before, but I felt like with the rug from Jungle Adventure, it kind of changed how these swatches felt in this room, but I don't know. Maybe that's just, that's just me, but the screenshots are coming up. Thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday at around 4 p.m., so I will see you all in the next one. Bye!
Oh. All right. That's fine. I was in the middle of a sentence, sir. 